This is my 1971 Nissan Skyline, uh, the Hakasuka. Doing a little, just to do a walk around on it. Um, so one of the main things is the kind of the rest of the mods. One of the main things we want to do is keep the stance. So no cut front fenders. Uh, so we kept the suspension is a 280ZX front strut modified with T3 coilover top hats and Coney yellows. So that lets us set the tire in more and not have to cut the front fenders and still run a modern tire on it. Um, kind of same thing in the rear, do a much bigger tire inside the fender with modifications to the aftermarket struts, aftermarket springs, and then some helper springs in the back to kind of set the ride height. Um, other than that, the car is pretty original to when I got it. All the other JDM goodies uh, from cut flares in the back, from the GTR styling, to all the emblems and the grills. So uh, part of the rest of the mod conversion is an RB25 swap. So this is RB25 DE and modified with GTR R33 ITBs um, to kind of give it that original GTR feel. So with that, it runs modern fuel injection uh, off a of Haltech 2000 with GTR yellow top injectors. So plenty of fuel if someone wanted to convert it to boost, but it's so much fun as a naturally aspirated engine and the sound it makes is kind of hard to beat. So um, with that, it was all cu custom mounts, um, custom radiator with dual electric fans, and then we run a the RB25 tran the RB25 DE transmission um, with a custom drivetrain into an R200 differential uh, with the LSD and CV axles from a 280ZX turbo car. So um, no more half shafts, none of that good stuff. And then with that, the new engine we wanted to upgrade the brakes. So you have a race booster um, for a 240Z that is modified. So you don't have to pound the fenders with those but it fits into the hole and it runs a 280ZX 15 16th master for the rear disc conversion um, with a Willowwood proportioning valve it makes adjustable brakes back and forth. So other than that and then uh, everything else has kind of been relocated. It runs a, a wiring specialties harness that is kind of tucked into the engine so you don't have a lot of wires all over the place and just a relocated uh, VCT solenoid um, for the R25 to run the ITBs. Um, with this I run a whole radium fuel system um, from a surge tank in the back, the radium surge tank runs dual pumps. Uh, a, there's a Bosch circulating pump and then a wall barrel in the, in the circulating tank, or in the surge tank. So there's plenty of fuel if someone wanted to convert it, um, but it runs really nice as is. And you can kind of see, and with this now you can see the T3 top hats with the adjustable cone yellows in them. So with that conversion, um, we added a couple of nice trim pieces. So I just the trunk was empty when I got it, so I just added the uh, carbon fiber panels to the bottom, kind of trim it out, make it look a little bit nicer. The battery's been relocated to the trunk for the RB conversion, and then wiring and grounding is back here. And then with that, the radium fuel system is set up back here with the dual pumps and the filter. So we run a radium surge tank with their fuel pressure regulator. And then a, the, the stock tank was modified with a fuel pickup, so it runs a 5 8 fuel pickup. So you should have more than enough fuel for anything you wanted to run in the future. Um, and then it returns to the top of the tank now. So this system is returnless. So there's only one line running to the tank. Uh, so kind of just keep it clean, less hoses, everything else running around. So for the interior of the car, I kept it pretty much original to when I got it. Um, the only thing that's kind of really changed is that the shifter is a short shifter from the RB. Uh, we did keep the original Skyline wooden shifter when I got the car, just kind of I liked it as a nice nostalgia piece. But I did add a radio to the car. So we run the kind of the JDM style front speakers on the deck. Um, and we made a carbon fiber plate to cover the deck plate and then a Pioneer um, kind of a low profile deck so you don't really see it when you drive to kind of ruin the, the 70s feel of the car. Um, with the conversion, um, we did do a lot of the harness got remade for the engine and all the lights and stuff just because of those old and it had some damage to it. So uh, I have a carbon signal gauge pod with carbon signal speed hut gauges. So modern gauges. Um, with the gauge, gauge was converted to miles per hour. So that's the only thing, but it looks, and it still has the original GTR font. Um, everything else, the wires are kind of tucked and hidden, and then the hull tech is actually behind the gauge cluster. So um, other than that, the new fuel fuse box is down in the bottom here, but everything else is pretty original to the car as from when I got it. So just kind of keep that 70s look, but just have that modern, modern appeal. Um, still love the Nardi wheel. Other than that, it's pretty original to yet to when we got it. Uh, so we're in uh, the suspension and the brakes of the car. So on the front, I run a 280ZX spindle out of a Turbo 83 
Um, with that, it lets you set the front tires in. You don't have to use the big Hakusuka front spacer anymore. Um, and then we're able to adapt Willowwood front calipers and slotted rotors to the front. So kind of with that and then kept the stance, so I didn't want to cut the fenders. That's kind of one of my main things is that kind of wanted to keep that original GTR look. So that's kind of all what the front suspension was built around. So with that, you run a T3 uh, camber hat on the front and then Coney yellows that are modified into the Twid ZX struts. Um, for tires, we did a kind of a throwback, uh, BF Goodwrench white wall radial TAs. You know, it's kind of a 80s muscle car feel, but kind of liked the look and they were this nice stance tire, um, kind of with that bubble wall sidewall. So it's kind of what made that choice on those. Um, for the rear, we have a rear disc conversion. So this was kind of, we built this, I built this myself off of the 280ZX calipers. Um, they're modified with a bracket to fit on the Hakusuka rear spindles. And then since we run the R200, um, lets you swap the half shafts into CV axles. So custom shocks, custom springs, do a custom spring rate for the ride height. And then we have uh, special bump stops that we made to kind of help with the ride height and keep the car from bottoming out. So with all the new conversions, um, we run the bigger master in the front for off the 280ZX and then a, a proportionally balance the brakes out.